So one thing we want to do before we go deep into our detail work is make sure that our assembly is still going to function. So our major limitation is can we fit our hole punch to the depth of our rivets? And we want to make sure that as we go to do this design, each time, you know, we bring it to the point where we know the hole punch is going to fit directly on those holes, okay? So if it's not quite right, you need to make sure that you either re-emboss your design or come back to your initial template and say, where did I go wrong? What should I do now? And then as we go through this process, we'll talk about troubleshooting anything that we haven't foreseen. But it's important when you do your design to make sure you have good layout and you know that everything is going to work before we take the time to emboss all of our detail work. So what we're going to do now, since we know that our hole punch actually reaches each of these holes, we tested it in our template, we did our emboss pattern, and then we checked it with the actual hole punch. We're going to make sure that those holes are in there so that they receive the rivet, right? Because the rivet needs to go into that hole and then made up with the steel plates. So as we have this intersection here, the leather is going to squeeze between these two and we're going to hammer the heads over these rivets to make sure that this steel plate stays fastened. So at this point, rather than do the detail work, we're going to make sure the holes are where we want. So the first step you need to do is find on your rotary punch which hole will receive the entire rivet, okay? A lot of the time it will just receive the tip, that's enough, but if you want it to be a looser fit, you can rotate to something thicker that receives the entire rivet shank, okay? So one thing to be considerate of is what type of hole do you want and how tight do you want your hole? So if you're not sure, I will always grab a piece of scrap leather, something I'm not super worried about, and I'll say, well, this one fits the tip of my rivet just fine. And if your rivet's not tapered, that's okay. It may be pre-cut. Um, the squared off shanks are much easier to hammer down. So just make sure that your punch is locked in place. You're ready to do your cut. And then I'll take a piece of scrap leather and just punch my hole. There it is. A little wiggle to make sure it comes loose. There we go much better. So now we have our hole and we just want to make sure that our rivet passes through that hole. Okay, I like it to be a little tighter so that way the rivets don't fall out. So if your rivet goes all the way into the rotary punch, you'll find that when you put your rivet in, it falls out very often. Um, if it's just slightly under the size, the leather will hold it there and that makes it easier if you don't have um, three or four hands floating around. So unless you have a buddy or a helper or a partner that's working with you or um, some family member, I prefer the slightly undersized hole. So now we're going to use that to punch all of our holes in our leather design to make sure that everything is working the way we had intended. Okay. So we're lining up with our first hole. I'm going to do a punch, then just a light wiggle, make sure that we're through. If it doesn't come out, sometimes it's just held on by a single burr, a little piece of fur, or some fiber of the, uh, the animal. And then we're lined up with our second hole, again, punch. Now before we punch all of our holes, it's always good to make sure that the first component fits the way we intended so that we're not punching a bunch of holes and realizing that we didn't know what we were doing and we've already put the whole thing together. So now I'm pushing my rivet through the back. This is called the test assembly. We're not gonna do the riveting. We're gonna do all of our detailing and painting first, but we wanna make sure that our armor component just fits right on there, okay? So you can see that we've got a gap between the steel and then we've got our leather component on the interior. And everything fits the way we intended, so we know that our alignment is good. So now we can take that one off. And we're going to do our test fit again 
punching our holes, making sure that we're on center. Light wiggle. Sometimes you'll hear this very satisfying pop and you know you've gone all the way through. And other times you won't hear that satisfying pop and that's when I'm um, more likely to give it that extra wiggle. So again, we're lined up on the very perimeter and we're gonna give it a light wiggle. And then on our last hole, which is just a little roomier than the other one, punch our hole, gentle wiggle. All right, so now we're gonna take our left component. And this is interesting because now we have more than two holes. And so the alignment can be a little trickier. So as I put in my three rivets, one, two, three, we're going to try placing our left component on. And it works one way, but the question is, is your hole on center? And if it's not, it may not work the other way. And so then you realize that your metal component, let's see if I can show this to the camera nicely. You can see that our rivet doesn't actually line up with the top hole in the center. But as soon as we rotate it, everything fits again. So it's important to make sure that when you have this metal stripping, you know which orientation is the front and which one is the back. So if we look at the entire assembly, we've labeled it, left is on the front, and that's something to be aware of. And then when we look at our entire design, we know that we intend to, this is where the seam was for our emboss step on the printed part we know that our design is going to look like that. So when you're doing test assemblies, it's always good to take the time, make sure you can assemble it, everything works, and then take it apart, put all your components to the side where you won't lose them, and then you can go back forward doing your detailing work. So I always take the time to stop and test the assembly. Make sure that your design works before you get into all these details. And then once you're done painting and you've got all your holes ready, it's just a lot of fun riveting and grommeting.